All right, Walter, I can smell something on the table here. Yes. It smells like onions a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. And, and, and I'll tell you, Chris, I must say, I am an onion freak. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just to tell you, I absolutely love them. I mean, they're just a very versatile vegetable okay. that you can use as far as cooking and all of that. And since I have to do all the cooking at the house, I've just learned to love them. Okay. To tell you. Well, we have the right man for the job to talk about onions then, right? Hopefully, yes. All right. Well, we have some questions for you about those onions there, Walter. So when are onions planted? Uh, well, here in, here in the Mid-South area, and I'm mainly talking about the Memphis area, Okay. Uh, I would say usually February and early March. Uh, it's usually one of our very first vegetables that we put out there, okay. uh, you know, each year. So uh, you go out there, it's, it's, it kind of gets me fired up for the growing season because <laughs> I'm like, hey, I can finally go out here and, and you know, and throw me up, as old folks say, throw me up some onion rolls <laughs> and, uh, and start planting. So, hey, I, I'm, I'm ready to go now. You know, and I'm just looking forward for the weather to get warmer okay. at that point. But I know I have my onions. All right. So what about frost, though? Do we need to pay attention to frost dates? You know, if somebody's watching this over in East Tennessee or? Well, basically, since we plant them so early, they usually going to come through most frost dates anyway. Now, I know Dr. Kelly informed me before we came on air that what zone seven is? Is April 10th. April, April 10th. 10th. Okay. Usually so. kind of the, the marginal. After the April the 10th in zone seven, we should be frost free okay. yeah. based on prior you know, data, okay. so, but we could always get something strange happening. Yeah, right? exactly, <laughs> exactly, yes. Okay, so does it matter how far apart you set the bulbs? Yes, uh, now if you're gonna, you know, grow your onions for what we call bunch onions or spring onions, you wanna set them about two inches apart from each other, uh, you know, cause obviously we're gonna get the little small heads here. But now if you're gonna wait and grow them as for dry onions or mm -hmm. whatever, uh, then you'll want to set them probably about six to eight inches apart, okay. uh, because some of these some of these can get kind of big, and uh, you know if I'm going to have a good hamburger, <laughs> I want me a nice <laughs> big onion on that hamburger. But that's basically how uh, you you can plant them. Okay. And also, <laughs> even the onions that we grow for dry onions, uh, you can pull them early as green onions. It's just kind of mm -hmm. up to okay. up you know up to you to do that as the gardener. That's kind of your choice. So some people plant them kind of thick and, and knowing that they're going to pull some out and leave some there to grow later for, um, you know, the dry onions. So it just kind of depends. Okay. How long to harvest? You know, that's uh, what most folks want to know, right? Yes. Uh, basically, uh, if, if you're looking at to harvest them for green onions, you're probably looking at about, I'm going to say 60 days, uh, probably what you're looking at. So if you set them in uh, March, uh, well, you like, what, April, May, so you should be getting some green onions by then to chop up and put in your turnip greens and, <laughs> and all those good things right. and also to put in your salads. I like slicing these uh, green tops here just to, you know, put in my salads as well. And now, of course, uh, if you're going to wait a little later and have them grow for the dry onions, right. uh, then obviously we'll be, you'll be pulling those around, I would say mid-June is probably when a lot of them come off around okay. our area. Okay. So how can you tell when they're ready, though? Okay, as far as the, for the green onions, uh, when you go out early in the spring and want to pull some, uh, you just basically kind of just pull them up. And if you see that they're the size that you want, hey, start, you know that, right? start getting them. <laughs> now, if you're going to wait till uh, later in the summer when you're growing them for the dry onions, obviously, you know, the green parts will kind of fall over and flip over. And you can just kind of tell because they'll be pushed up kind of near the mm -hmm. soil edge. And again, just pull a few of them out. It'll be probably around mid-June. And, uh, and, 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 and you can just harvest them then and, and prepare it to dry them out okay. for cooking. Okay. All right, so how do you prepare dry onions for storage? Okay, well, once again, you know, you, you, you go out there and you kind of see, they'll start, you know, obviously pushed up near the soil. Mm -hmm. The green tops have, have fallen over. So you pull them out. And what I did, I saved an old patio uh, circular table that has the, uh, you know, the wide grid. Right, yeah. right, right. And I just, I put that in the garage and I just pull them on there and I just lay them on there. And I'm going to say I keep them there for about, I guess, three or four weeks in the garage. Mm -hmm. uh, seem like I get good air circulation in there because I always have my garage door up a lot of times. You don't wash them. Uh, no, don't wash them. Please wash do not em. wash yeah. them. And you just kind of see them, they'll begin to, you know, they'll tighten down just mm -hmm. like, 
just like this one has you know tightened down um, and pretty much they're they're good to go now at that point you, you may say well hey how do I store them right you know right. I know that's usually a big sure. question and I keep mine pretty much out there in the garage and but those those when I bring them in I put some up under the uh, kitchen sink, uh, <laughs> just throw them up right, under there. Right. But now the old timers, I remember my grandmother, uh, she used to put them in uh, stockings, and you would uh, just see stockings hanging all throughout. Yeah, the, yeah. I've know, seen that before, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, you know, right. but, but the main thing is, you know, don't put them near water and moisture because you're just going to get those funguses on there. What about varieties? Do you have a Favorite variety? Uh, not really. I, I'll be honest with you. I just buy whatever they have at the <laughs> garden center. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if it's just where I live. We just don't get a lot of different varieties in those stores. <laughs> to, you know, <laughs> you know I, I don't know. But I will say this. When it comes to uh, the uh, dry varieties, I do like the Texas 1015. Okay. Uh, I, I love that variety. It's a sweet uh, onion that, that grows well here in our climate. Uh, and uh, I mean, this is this is one right here, and mm -hmm. they, they're very very good. Uh, and I also get this question a lot. Uh, I know that the Valdelia onion yeah, is known for yeah, its sweetness yeah. and and all of that. Yep. And and a lot of people say, hey, I, I go to the store and I, I bought some of those onion sets, but uh, my Valdellas didn't turn out to be sweet like the ones that <laughs> I buy from Georgia. And and I think it has something, and maybe Dr. Kelly or yeah. Dr. Cooper here can tell me. I think it has something to do with the soil type down so. there in that that's area. What, that's what, what so. I've that's always what heard. Yeah, yeah. that's what the true Vidalia onions from Georgia. They're not really. They say. They're not really the real Vidalias unless they're grown in the uh -huh. soil of Georgia, okay. in Vidalia, Georgia. Oh, okay, well, so, it's definitely soil type. Yeah. So it's definitely yeah. soil type. Yeah. So, Apparently, mm -hmm. that's what know. they say anyway. So, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Well, speaking of soil, what type of soil do onions prefer? Well, actually, uh, from a pH standpoint, they like a seven, a neutral oh, soil. Okay. But it, it goes back even down to about 6.6, 6 6.5 to okay. seven. So slightly acidic to... To, to what we call, I guess, basic uh, soil. So that's kind of what okay. they like. And they also like a good, uh, they like to be rich up. They don't like to be, uh, you know, what we call wet feed or whatever, you know, just plant it where they get a lot of water. They like to be, you know, like to drain off. And you want a soil with good tip, oh, sure. you know, good organic <coughs> matter in it, and, and they'll do fine for you. Okay. Any uh, fertilizer we need to put down? Uh, usually with the ones I grow at home, I might go out there and put, like a triple ten or something like that okay. on there, but I usually have pretty good, pretty good success with with growing them there at my home garden. Okay, let's be some good soil down in Haywood County. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about uh, diseases or insects that we need to be concerned about? Well, I, I would say as an extension agent, uh, I've never really ran up on any in our area, but but there is a uh, uh, an onion maggot mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that uh, I've read about, and they say it's pretty destructive, but seem like I read more about it up in the east coast side. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, We don't tend to have that problem with the maggot. Here. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We tend not to have anything mm -hmm. here, so I, I haven't ran across this. I have not either. So, okay. I think here in our area we're fine. I think we're good. Okay. Well, we appreciate that getting information about onions. Yes, we huh? like to say. It's, it's, <laughs> we can tell you like onions. Oh, I love them. I absolutely love them. Yes. Right. Good deal. Right. Next time, bring onion dip. <laughs> okay, you got it. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.